Hi everybody, welcome to the second annual League of Evil Halloween Spooky One-Shot of this, uh, of Lich's Lair. I mean, we obviously had other one-shots this October, but this is the Halloween weekend version. And we're going to have a very special session for you tonight with uh, this spooktastic cast with me today. And uh, yeah, we're glad to have you. And on top of that, uh, we're doing a charity stream for Extra Life. So if you're feeling up for it, donate because all the proceeds goes to Extra Life to helping kids. And we already raised 80 bucks. Yay. So any amount you give is cool. And we really appreciate you. And we dedicate this next couple of hours of tomfoolery and shenanigans to you, the true heroes. And yes, yes, I am cosplaying as Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Okay. Kevin. Kevin. I'm Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yeah. Write it down. Make it an NPC, Michael. Let's see some, <laughs> some scenario soon. Just like, oh, what's your what's your name, Shafi? Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> mean, mean Kevin? No, it's Kevin. <laughs> I have to call our friend Kevin that all the time now. Uh, he'd be like, what the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> Hello, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's jump in tonight's spooky episode. <laughs> Uh, Happy Jack has invited the little League of Miscreants and their little junior brain to the fun house of horrors. However, upon entering the fun house of horrors, little junior brain disappeared into the carnival or the fun house proper, and the party must find them before senior master brain figures out their mishaps. This obviously takes place when our League of Evil were little Dinsians, um working their way up the evil food chain. And they are only just little baby level 10s. And you know, level 10s, they don't do much. Okay. And now, as they enter the fun house, they have realized that Junior Brain, who you can see here on the map, in all of their glory, before they became the illustrious Master Brayden, vanished. And now, you must all find Junior Brain before the night's end, or face the wrath of Master Senior Brain. In tonight's episode of Little League of Miscreants. So, let me see. No, that's not the track. Oopsie. So, one moment. So you had all taken a um, a roller coaster down uh, into the funhouse with Junior Brain, uh, making all sorts of turns, curves, uh, alley oops, loops, what have you. Very intense. Um, but eventually, um, the uh, the roller coaster comes to a stop at the end. And before you know it, as you look around for Mr. Junior Brain himself, you realize that he has disappeared from your sights. And now, panic sets in as you realize Master Brain will not be amused by this. So, you are in this area. Um... The cart pulls up to a wooden dock, allowing you to exit the vehicle onto the platform. Red velvet ropes lead the way to a waiting room. A large white crate, painted with colorful polka dots, rests in the center of the room. Cubbies, dusty and abused by years of guests, sits empty along the west wall. Two small doors and a large door are found alongside the north wall. A painting of a clown hangs above the large door. A paper banner dangles from its teeth and reads, Welcome to the Funhouse. 
Along the east wall, two wooden tables covered in loose papers are divided by another door, with the sign above it reading, Only Happy Jack's personnel beyond this point. And with that introduction, what does our little league of miscreants do? <laughs> you stupid cat! You were the one that was supposed to watch the baby! <laughs> I mean, I I can't stop the baby from running off. Besides, I feel a little little feverish. Okay, fever. You're gonna be dead when Senor gets a hold of all of us. <laughs> oh, calm, calm down. It's okay. We'll find it. I mean, how far could it have gotten? It's what a little thing with a with a stem. What did it just roll over there? <laughs> <laughs> is, there is there like? <laughs> A gooey brain trail. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody do perception checks. See if you can find the goopy brain trail. <laughs> yeah, oh, but don't God. follow the wrong one or we'll go into the other campaign and find Lilipa. <laughs> right. oh, oh, don't, don't cross the streams. Uh, Which one of these is perception? So I, I didn't get the normal pop-up thing. I click perception. No, me neither. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even get dice. It just it just went. <laughs> I got dice for mine. Oh gosh, Dante, don't want to show us what you roll. <laughs> show us what you roll. Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally just rolled to the master brain. I rolled on the left. It wasn't good. <laughs> um. So maybe I need to fix a setting, but I'm scared to do it if Drax isn't here. So. <laughs> well, I know the thing is, like, should I have, like, complete darkness to the right of me? Hmm. Try <laughs> moving <laughs> your token. Let me fix No, 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 no. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, yeah, so I was only seeing, like, the spotlights. That was the literally the only thing lighting up the room. It was pretty spooky, so, this, so I was like, <laughs> I don't want to walk to my right at all. <laughs> okay, so now there you go. Everybody can see, correct? Like, mm-hmm. Pretty accurately. Yep. All, right. All right, so um, Saren, you spot the goopy trail leading northward towards the big double wide doors. He like points to it with a little bony finger and he's just like, ah, there, we'll get the little, uh, I almost said bastard. And if I had, I would have died instantly. (laughs) But you're already dead. (laughs) He's like, he's like, he's like. Dear God. Oh, shit. (laughs) Would have died all over again. (laughs) He just falls apart into bones. (laughs) The only thing holding him together was his imagination. (laughs) I got a friend in me. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Can we see the door that has the employees only? Yes, this one right here to your east. While they're right. talking, I want to go over to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You may freely move as you will. Is this door over here? Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to go up to a knock on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you knock. Uh, roll a perception check. See if you can hear something beyond the door. Okay, that time I got dice. Oh, what? why am I just rolling the same? I keep rolling a two. <laughs> <laughs> you knock on it one, two, and you put your ear to it, and you do not hear a soul beyond this door. Wait, hang on, I got a thing, don't I? I don't know. It's for investigation. Shit. <laughs> you can investigate the um, the surrounding area if you want. Yeah, because I, 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 I'm trying to find like an employee to basically just be like, go tell an adult. We, we lost the child. <laughs> we are adults. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were like, like Muppet babies. No, what? Oh. <laughs> Michael's over like the, the little, little. Yeah, uh, you're basically the, your adolescent selves. At it level just, it just us, like with big heads, but then short bodies were all just right. chibi. I'm still, like, I'm still like 300 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Doesn't matter in terms of that's, a, that's an equivalent of at least twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> so you're don't, a hip young adult. Don't, don't, don't yeah, tell I'm, anybody I was forty when I died. <laughs> okay. I'm a, I'm an Empyrean, so I don't actually age. But what happened is because Empyrean's like thirty feet tall, I shrink. But now I'm just shrunk shorter than I usually am. <laughs> but I'm still like a jacked adult. I'm just like four feet tall. <laughs> okay. She said investigation. Yes. Okay. So you inspect the tables to the left and right of you of the door, and um, you see uh, these wooden tables line the walls and posters and pamphlets advertising the funhouse attractions uh, litter the area. And uh, you see a f- couple of pamphlets that say, uh, Survivor and Tracker Supreme, Axe No fish can outswim the- his cast, Mr. Biggs, Magician Extraordinaire, Kofa, and so on and so on. And you see the northeast corner uh, has a conduit on the floor that when uh, you see it's kind of leading into a trap door. Hmm. What is everybody else doing in the meantime? As he <laughs> discovers this. Yeah, information. yeah. Before I get Ooh. into tomfoolery, you see Saren pull out a bone rattle. He's just like, "All right," she just starts shaking it. It's like he loves this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure he loves the, that thing, or do you just like that thing? Do you see these these teeth marks? Aren't mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's even know brain. where the teeth. How, yeah. I don't. I am just as confused as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Babies well, don't have agree uh, bra- brains. Don't have teeth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> as you shake the rattler, the box <laughs> shakes a little bit. He like jumps. He jumps into uh, Cadence's arms. Like ah. <laughs> Ugh, she drops him, and I don't know if he breaks apart or what. <laughs> his head, ro- his head rolls off like. Yeah. <laughs> and catching the head is the mysterious, extraordinaire Ricky. Ticky. Ricky, give that back. <laughs> he, he just he just goes. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, I, I don't. His like his skull is like talking to you. He's just like, bring that nose closer. I'll bite it. <laughs> Bring that nose well, so help me. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> what are we all doing here except for not being as handsome as me? Oh, Christ, not this. You should again. find this little baby brain. <laughs> this ugly little thing. Oh, God, we have Before... two of you now. <laughs> Ugh. What are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) And suddenly Perant and Gideon were very aware of each other's existence. (laughs) (laughs) When when did he get here? (laughs) When did he get here? You're replacing me now with somebody less handsome than me? (laughs) Both of you are stealing my spotlight. I think all three of you are hideous. Right back at you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Cadence. <laughs> but seriously, Ricky, please put my head. Like, he, like, has his, like, he's, like, trying to shove his, like, neck into Ricky. Like, put it back on. <laughs> uh-huh. He's just like. <laughs> Face the face in the right way. It's just like, <laughs> all right. So that <laughs> he points to this. He's just like you, Rick, Ricky, Ricky. I hear that there's ah, uh, what's that thing you like? <sighs> Shinies in that box. <laughs> shiny. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiny. <laughs> shiny. Where? Where? Where is it? In the box, box, box. <laughs> uh, Ricky goes to the box and opens it. The big, the big giant box. As you push your hand on it, it rumbles and shakes, and then from the top it bursts open, and you see 
a giant hippopotamus. This isn't it shiny. You lied. This isn't and, shiny. And in its maw, it says, welcome to Happy Jacks. And it, uh, yeah. And uh, you can see on it, uh, like below its neck, it has like a name tag. What's its name? Uh, you read it and it says Bubby. Bubby. Oh. <laughs> And uh, Bubby uh, just kind of looks at you all, just kind of pushing the sign in your faces. That doesn't look like a brain. <laughs> or maybe it does. It's a very weird marketing tactic. Why would they hide the sign? What was if nobody touched the box? Why would you use a hippo? How does it eat? <laughs> uh-huh. Buffy just looks at everybody puzzled. I don't and think the uh, I don't think the dungeon master thought this through. We should leave this room immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a hinkling that this is a what do you call it a uh, a red herring. Mm-hmm. We got to spend at least another hour and, here sussing yeah, out this hippo. It's a great. It's not a red herring. It's a gray hippo. <laughs> I think it's just a welcome sign at this point. <laughs> Let's go find that little tyke. Uh, that's the spirit cadence. <laughs> Besides, oh. uh, if we, I, I just, I, <laughs> you're just like thinking of like, <laughs> Senor Master Brain. Nope. <laughs> He's nope. just like, Ugh, I don't, I don't want to disappoint that guy. <laughs> Why do you yeah. care so much about his approval? Because he's the most beautiful creature I've ever seen in my life. (laughs) Ah, That is a good one. I didn't know you were studying comedy. (laughs) He just like, just like, just a a human skull just looking at you like. uh, And as the two are talking amongst themselves, the hippo grows frustrated. And Gideon, it lunges at you. What? Why? I'm gonna, gonna give you a nip. Uh, to- You're gonna die. Hippos are dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hippos are murderers. He Can might you- no longer be the handsomest guy or second <laughs> handsomest. I don't know. In line, <laughs> uh, they can, can fight over it. Can Ricky do something? Um, but first, uh, I'll give a nibble. Uh, it's, so it's gonna roll a thirteen to hit. Does I hit thirteen? Yes. No. So basically just kind of puts his teeth on your armor and doesn't do anything. Tries to crunch into it. Just sits there. Trying to bite it to you. Can I try to like bonk it snoop? Be like, what was his his name? Is Bubby? Yep, Bubby. Listen here, Bubby. (laughs) I know what you're doing. Bound like it one bit. (laughs) And uh, Bubby just uh, backs up. Clearly not amused that it couldn't get a, a bite in. Looks Are you weird. hungry? Is that <laughs> it? They don't feed you? They keep you in the crate? <laughs> do do an animal handling check. I'm really good I mean, at that. I mean, how does he eat? He has the sign in his mouth. <laughs> Ricky, what, what would you like to do as Gideon tries to tame Bubby? I'm going to go up to it and start talking to it and Sullivan. Like, hey, hey, do you have shiny? Shiny for Ricky. It leaps up from the box. Ah! Scared out of its mind. And then it goes in to bite Ricky. Can I try to dodge it? Yeah, if it doesn't hit you. Roll a nine. (laughs) Oh, yeah, no. (laughs) Bubby is not amused. Bubby stomps off. In the corner. Goes to gnaw on the table. (laughs) It goes into the employee on these lounge. (laughs) Smoke break. (laughs) So it's not attacking us anymore then? (laughs) Not at all. Okay. Look, I I think I found and he like he like puts his finger in it. (gasps) I don't I don't know why I tried to smell, but I think this is brain juice. (laughs) (laughs) Saren, Saren. What? You what? said shiny. Where's shiny? Uh, 
I, I thought the hippo, I mean, if you put like water on it, it's kind of shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky just looks really angry, and he's just like, You promised me shiny! You promised me shiny! Oh my god! <laughs> McDonald's! 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 <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, Ricky, we have McDonald's at home! Uh -huh. <laughs> and the I McDonald's want it now! It's <laughs> <laughs> a pile of dirt. <laughs> Alright, so with the Bubby and sedated for now. You must decide on your course of action. Will you go into the employees' lounge, even though you are not employees? Or will you head up north to explore the double wide door and see where it leads? Which uh, direction did the Brain Goop trail go in? Brain Goop went north. Oh, I wanted to break the rules and go into the employees' lounge. Hey, I tried. <laughs> I tried, but I had a big dumb dumb moment, and it was like, nope, nobody's in there. <laughs> The baby doesn't work here. <laughs> <I think. laughs> you look at the employee of the month. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? Double life. <laughs> well, then I advise we follow the the baby. I agree, but it was my idea first. <laughs> Prove it. I just did. <laughs> both of you roll performance checks you're not as beautiful as I am but you are clearly really really dumb too <laughs> all looks no brains wait who's rolling per performance <laughs> no, no thoughts only per oh, oh, yes. wow. No. Natural wow wow not <laughs> thank you damn 17 it looks for good, but Parant has that that angelic presence. Who needs angels when we're all a bunch of demons, anyways? <laughs> that cuts deep. <laughs> she shoves him, not like where he'll be knocked over or whatever, but she shoves past him, clearly upset by uh, the affront to her her goodness <laughs> or badness. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a whole like walk after her, shaking the rider, like, wait, kitty cat, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you I'll guys follow. can on. <laughs> Who's taking the lead? Probably well, Hayden, because like she cat. just stomped yeah. off. <laughs> but she did stomp off in the direction, like north. Okay. So the door opens as you open it up. <laughs> so you enter this area uh the phrase happy jack loves you and images of screaming and laughing demons and devils are painted on the walls of this area hey. <laughs> no go on uh, you can see ahead of you that the walls are constructed using loose blocks of pressed wood. Oh. Sorry, like looks at one of the murals and he's just like, I think I know that guy. And, like points oh. out a random team. <laughs> <laughs> All you know, it's saying his likeness without his permission. <laughs> all right so these walls are right here you can see them in front of you um there you can step over them you can push them down or you can follow the trail it is up to you to decide Saren's just shaking the rattle, just like looking at, like looking around on the ground, because I mean it's a tiny brain. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not up in the ceiling. <laughs> and he's just like, and he's like, brain, little brain, come back, little bee, <laughs> little thing. <laughs> I, th I thought his name was Brian. <laughs> I sometimes I call him that. Just shaking it. Oh, no. Saren, before you do that, you step on something. The tile gets pressed down. And oh, you have to make a dex 
check. <gasps> See if we can avoid this. Reading's hard. Hold on. Okay, there. <laughs> Yeah, seven. Uh oh. I'm trying to find the baby. I don't care. <laughs> A cool seven. <laughs> A green mist uh, shoots up from the ground, encapsulating the group, except for Ricky. And um, everybody's got to make wisdom saves now. Ricky's just on the other side of the door, gnawing on his leg, like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, do I have the thingy? Uh, Caden's got a 13. Okay. 18. Is a no, mist, is it something you have to breathe in? Uh, yes. I mean, I don't breathe. <laughs> At 19. All right, 19. Okay. So everybody but Gideon and Saren and Ricky will suffer the effects of a confusion spell. So, Cadence, uh, you move in a random direction. Roll a D8, and you can move in that direction. Do I have to move right now, or only if I choose to move? Uh, yeah, you gotta do it now, yes. Okay. And, uh, Perron, you just kind of stand there aimlessly, just kind of staring off in the void. That's what I was doing anyway. I got it, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you just move forward, kind of mo uh, walking over these, like, uh, bricks and just kind of going right through them. They're kind of crumbling down, pushing them over. But um, you don't trigger any more traps as you do that, as you push down these walls. And uh, you see on your right, as you hit the wall, poof, can hit the wall in your head. You look to your left and you see a, uh, a metallic human-sized construct lays on the floor holding an odd metal contraption in its hand. Can I talk? Yeah. Uh, I think I found something. How did I get here? You you just started strutting. <laughs> well, at least I did it in a in a great way. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, head. Do you see a baby? <laughs> like, no, I like, don't see a. He like walks through the walls baby. where she went. <laughs> 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 maybe he's hiding in that thing and he's like shaking the rattle at it like ah, ah. <laughs> uh, so yes you all see and Pran you can now move normally now oh. Ricky <laughs> hmm? oh, you can move up if you want can I climb this wall <clears throat> yeah yeah um Cadence kind of knocked him down when they got confused. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you see this strange um, human-sized construct laying on the floor holding an odd metal contraption on their hand. And uh, you see <laughs> two hallways leading north. Uh, one going left, one going right. Is the metal shiny? Have you tried restarting it? <laughs> is the metal shiny the metal is shiny especially like on the edge of it it's kind of like a oval shape with like uh, blades like small little points on the end of it or he's like oh shiny shiny mm -hmm. and start to run toward it mm -hmm. you grab it and you can see like half of it's just kind of broken off like the handle's kind of chunked or split in pieces and um 
but you do he- as you kind of hold it up, you can hear it swishing like there's a liquid inside. Can I try to like bang it on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, there's like a belt around this kind of like oval like metal. When you kind of smash it, the chain kind of rattles, and you can hear the the swishing of the the liquid inside the where the handle's at. And um, yeah, so you get a couple little shiny little uh, blades or points. <laughs> Shiny, shiny, go stab, 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 stab. <laughs> what? Uh, everybody, make an intelligence check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah sure. Really terrible with those. <laughs> well, eleven for a negative for a negative one to it. <laughs> oh my oh god! Oh my god, Ricky! Oh, this is on um, <laughs> oh, brand. Oh, I win with a 19. <laughs> Clearly, I am the brains behind every operation. <laughs> I literally don't have a brain. <laughs> uh, so after your confusion settles, Cadence, you look at them, <laughs> the whole group just kind of huddled around this object, <laughs> trying to ponder it, and you realize it's a chainsaw. What are, what are you all, what are you fools doing? Why are you staring at this chainsaw? A ch- chainsaw? What's that? <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> it's a it's a um, piece of equipment that has a chain that runs that rotates around it, and you can cut through things with it. Wait, good wait, for wait, wait. good for dismembering bodies, and I guess you could cut down a tree with it too. But that's whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> he like what? he like pulls out a bat, like his a little pouch. He opens it up, and he's just like, "Gary, write down chainsaw." <laughs> you got it, boss. Yeah. You can you can uh, rent them from your local hardware store. What's local? <laughs> you need to read a dictionary every once in a while. <laughs> you should know that word. Brain or no brain. <laughs> so with a broken chainsaw in hand and a strange construct to your left, you have nothing but the path ahead or explore more to your right. Have your feeling. Do we uh, see that uh, trail? Uh, the trail does go uh, to the right. The right path here. Well, Cadence, I'll tell you what, you don't need a brain to figure out that you need to. And he just like walks in. Like, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> maybe it oh. is, maybe it isn't. I'm just going to keep going until Michael says stop. <laughs> <laughs> right, or everybody else. Let me see what everybody else does. I follow. Okay. <laughs> I'd follow, but I'm stuck. <laughs> you're stuck. Where are you? <laughs> right. Oh, you're there. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. Are you like I... lugging a chainsaw behind you? <laughs> I can't move, Ricky. No. Oh, it's the it's game's the paused. Game paused. Oh, yeah. the game paused. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm, I'm gonna run after. Sorry. Yeah. What's up? Baby brain. Mm-hmm. Baby brain. Do I know if it's a fiend? Wait, say that again. Sorry. Is baby? Do I know from us toting around baby brain if baby brain is a fiend? <laughs> um, they're aberration. Okay. It, you know, I'm gonna do this just anyway because you said there's like demons and stuff on the wall, right? Uh huh. Um. Where is that? There it is. Uh, I want to. I want to use this. Uh, um. Okay. So, what are you doing? Just checking to see if there's. Um... Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet that's uh not behind total cover mm-hmm. you know the type uh so through a thin wall past Perant, you see 
An undead. Standing. <laughs> and maybe it's like a glowing, there. a glowing red. And I look around to see where um uh Saren went to. Yes, Saren went this way. Oh, I saw. I saw. I physically saw Saren go that way. Okay, but the the presence is here. Is there anything you would like to do? Um. Hmm. <clears throat> well, since I guess Cadence is the closest one to me at the time, I would like to lean over her and be like, "Uh, just to let you know, uh, we're not here alone." Oh. Now yeah, there's a uh, there's a dead dude behind that wall over there, and then you hear vroom, 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 and then the wall gets cut. Thought it was Ricky going ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> and coming out of there is a ghoulish figure standing over ten feet tall, wailing Jeez. around with a chainsaw. Everybody roll initiative. They don't oh, pay me enough to be screw that goodbye. guy. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> can I, I play move Resident just, Evil? Can I move up just to see him real quick? Sure, yeah. I want to see his token. It's, it's just a ghoul. Oh, oh, I thought it was. <laughs> oh my god, Ricky! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow, <laughs> level 10 Ricky is just garbage. Yeah, I'll move you back. <laughs> oh, game is lost. Sorry, excuse me. But also, like, can I, like, can I put a collar on that guy and you may you know? try. What the fuck? It's it's That's... like throwing a pokeball, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I may not catch him, but gotta collect them all. <laughs> my my first thought was I wanted to like like have like a squirt bottle and be like, no, Toby, bad Toby, but then I remembered <laughs> how, I uh, how Saren is. <laughs> look, look, I look, I can ma- I make the boner jokes, but they there's nothing. I feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gideon, it's your turn. Oh, I forgot to roll initiative. Uh, oh, I was, too, I, was too bu- I was I was too busy thinking about like, oh, I want him. He's mine now. <laughs> Man, I'm reading. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll just try to do that. Um, I am going to. Oh, can't move. Pause. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I want to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ricky's dead. I killed him. No. Um, is this a wall or is it like a, a high enough where I could step over it? <laughs> yeah, you could step over. It's like a um... like a little barricade. Yeah. Okay. I want to. I want to hop over this and like. Uh, so we want like, uh, and yeah. I want to. I want to go up here, next to um. Prot, and uh, pull out my scimitar and be like. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a baby? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like wailing his chainsaw. I'm gonna wail my scimitar in a similar fashion and try to hit him. <laughs> so how do I need to deal with the damage? It's weird. <laughs> I only clicked the lull. So well it's, it's a 25 to hit. hmm That hits. Okay, so then it does 14 slashing. Alright. And then, since I hit him, I want to burn a spirit die and trip him. To make a strength saving throw. All right, here we go. Boop. He wrote a seven. Okay. He falls down. Let's see if he can hold his chainsaw up. Yep. Oh, no. He's going to deal some chainsaw damage to himself. Oh, no. Oh, no. Seven chainsaw <clears throat> damage. 
Ugh. Chainsaw just kind of gets stuck into his chest. He's like, oh! No, he I'm very so. amused. Oh, okay. He takes one <laughs> extra point of damage. Oh, watch out. Man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then. Um, do I have? I do have. I have that. And also, let's just do it again. Okay, so I want to attack again with my extra attack. All right. So that is 26 to hit. What's happened? And 12 slashing. Yep. And then I want to use my bonus action, Skimitar Speed. Um, I like post just the description. It's mm, a good question. I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> That was you really just, like a display. Do you want me to read what it does? So, in addition, you can make one attack with it as a bonus action on yep. each of your turns. Okay. Yeah. So I just basically had to make another attack. All right. Shink. Twenty-eight. All right. Mm, Fourteen slash. Oh no! All right. Flurry of movement, Gideon, in stunning perfection with his scimitar speed, cuts down Chainsaw McGraw. Something McGraw. <laughs> and that's it all right and with that stunning display of scimitar and speediness it is now cadence turn followed by perrant um i have a question so gideon like basically like charmed him to get him to drop the chainsaw no, I knocked him prone and then oh, he like, yeah. like fumbled it. And... Like okay. in between, like when I was striking him, like I struck him in such a fashion that I made him like goofy goober. Okay, perfect. Is this guy considered a person? He's a humanoid, yes. Humanoid? Okay, perfect. Then I am going to use hold person. To paralyze him. Wonderful. A target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. At the end of each of its turns, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. There we go. Roll to 13. Um, I'm... 17, I believe, is what to beat. Yeah, so you got it. Perfect. So, um, trying to remove the chainsaw from his, uh, his guts. Literally just gets frozen looking at Cadence's direction. Starstruck. He's seen all your plays, and he just can't believe you're here right now. Oh, a fan! <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. And, yeah, so he's stunned. Stunned and prone. Paralyzed and prone. All right, that was my action. I don't think I can do anything else, so have at him, guys. I'll just hang on. She, like, takes a seat. <laughs> Is there, like, a place where she can sit down? Is there, like, a chair or something? There's, like, that construct, which is basically, like, a metal, like, a Chuck E. Cheese, like, construct, and you can kind of, like... Okay, she on. like kind of like leans, like leans up against them, takes out a nail file, starts like kind of doing her nails, and <laughs> is like, "Good luck, guys. Have at it." <laughs> Love it. All right, so the ghoul's turn. Well, he can't really do anything, can he? Uh, uh, at the end of their turn. So let's see. No, I just roll for Piranha. Oopsie. What have you, you done? <laughs> uh, the ghoul is... 
unparalyzed, but he's still prone. So. Dang, he beat a 17? Mm-hmm. Wow. He wrote exactly a 17, actually. <laughs> oh. So, without further ado, uh, Perant, followed by Saren. Okay, well, I think the first thing I'm going to do is punch him very, very hard. <laughs> Shocking, I know. Uh, they, <laughs> it's a league of very big egos. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> league of egos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's my first punch. Falcon punch. Yeah. That hits. Automatic roll damage. Uh, yeah. Does a 27 hit him? Mine did the same thing. I don't know why. I can <laughs> change it real quick. Joex, get ready. Oh, that's fine. Okay, never mind. But I could. I'm assuming that hit, Michael. Yes. That God, I hope that hit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then I will use the gloves of soul catching to roll 2d10 force damage on him. Jeez Louise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 15 damage. It's all magical, so. You're just punching the chainsaw further into him. Yeah. <laughs> um... I guess I'll just attack again. I this doesn't say <laughs> that it's only once per turn. I don't know what the deal is with this, but yeah, uh, you must gain another hit points. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, hey, that's fine. I'll don't just punch him again. Yeah, it's like. This is, this is too good. Uh, 21. Mm -hmm. Man, I rolled one of damage again. <laughs> What's going on here? It's a duality of those gloves. <laughs> you only <laughs> run once, but at least you'll do that extra 2d10. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not even going to use key points. I just punch him twice. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have form. He's just like punching like a person who has no idea what he's doing. I just happen to have super strength. <laughs> <laughs> so, Saren. That'll be my turn. You see uh, in that narrow hallway, Gideon and Perant just wailing into this poor undead bozo. What do you do? <laughs> He's just like trying to get a better look at it. And he like has this, he like pulls out his scythe. And uh, is he able to like move past everybody? Yeah, like yeah. To you get right here. That. Yeah, you can move through allies, but you can't through move through yeah. enemies. I gets right here, and he's just he's just like he's just like what the? I, that's not one of mine, is it? Bomb <laughs> <laughs> um, further inspection. Would it really matter? <laughs> well, he's about to be one of mine. <laughs> he like gets the scythe, <laughs> and he's just like, "Come here, boy." <laughs> I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. He'll uh, like he'll like like just run through the wall and just like just like, <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> absolutely just ready. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's, if you want it to fit into the bag of holding better, and gotta go, it's gotta get chopped up first. <laughs> we can put you back together. <laughs> I don't know what it rolled. Oh, oh what's oh, Jesus? Uh, a crit and then max oh, wow. dice. Wow. Um, oh, yeah, so, uh, and, uh, I have, a uh, inescapable destruction, so if he has any resistance to necrotic damage, it ignores that. Oh, no. Yeah, so, so you Pokeball his soul to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> he d he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it disappears. What? No, no, no! <laughs> Is there no body is. left? Um, no, there's a body left. You just <laughs> chop it up. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> swing, 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 swing! And all the pieces fall down onto like a big plate. 
Like <laughs> all cut up pieces of lean meat. Gila just gets down and Lee's just like, Gary, make room. <laughs> he just starts shoving the pieces into his bag. <laughs> and with that. <laughs> well, Ricky Jane didn't even have to be here for that. <laughs> what was Ricky doing during all that? Cowering in a corner. <laughs> or under, I, I guess cowering under uh, Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't move. You should have listened to what you had to say first. I think there's another one. I hear shaking. (laughs) Ricky's just shaking on your your foot. Like, (laughs) I'm going to spin around with my scimitar. Do I I see Ricky? (laughs) Yeah, he's on your foot. (laughs) So, Ricky, you do see at the bottom of Gideon's foot a perfectly intact chainsaw. Is it shiny? <laughs> it's much more shiny. Huh? It's very shiny. Oh, shiny. And I'm going to pick it up. And then, like, lightning strikes, you know? And then all you see is the dark <laughs> silhouette of Ricky as he holds the chain. Yeah, I was going to say, is Ricky? I thought he was like, up and then two size. <laughs> like, let me do a strength check real quick. <laughs> just, just, just curious. Now I um, I may not know what a chainsaw is, but I don't trust Ricky with it. I got a seven. <laughs> what does that mean? I, I, everybody, do a deck save, or he's gonna cut oh. your toenails. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Also, the chainsaw is now in your inventory, Ricky. My shiny, my shiny. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I mean, it was at your foot. So. <laughs> it basically, Very like, fun. Ricky uh, manages to cut <laughs> through oh, your I... shoes, and now you have exposed toes. Um, <laughs> for the stream, Gideon got a, a nat one. I only had four. Uh, Perrant had 20. I have 22, and Saren has four. <laughs> So, and your feet are exposed too, but luckily you were already wearing sandals. <laughs> he so. just like cuts my toenails. And he's just like, he looks down. He's just like, oh, that's actually much better. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting kind of jagged. <laughs> <laughs> so, now with that, and now Ricky with possession of a new weapon, a new shiny. <laughs> what would the party do? We should probably continue down the hallway before the brain juice all dries up. Oh, Uh fuck the brain! (laughs) He just, like, (laughs) like, shoves the bag of holding back into his back. He's just like, he's just like, go, go, go! But but we should err on the side of caution. Clearly there's a lot of weird things in this place. Can I look in... Oh, it's fine. Ricky's in front. Where this guy came from. Good point. Yes, hold up. Are you becoming smarter, Perrant? Yes, this No. Um... Never <laughs> accuse me of such a thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Uh, so you basically see a similar area in there, and then upon further inspection, uh, you find uh, a liter of what seems to be gasoline and a bunch of scrap. It's so. just like a, like a tiny little closet. Yep. Huh. Zach is going to pocket that gasoline and send it to his uh, Seas of Time character. <laughs> I, I know a guy that needs, it, that needs a thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's really been wanting to buy it. <laughs> That's uh, very curious that this man is living in a closet. <laughs> it's going to be living in another closet soon when I get back <laughs> home. <laughs> what? You don't keep your undead in a closet? I, I don't keep undead. <laughs> You're missing out. Or closet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even keep those things. Like, I have people that go get me those things. <laughs> oh, they get me the things. I don't think your people like my people. <laughs> well, probably not. But uh, anyways, uh, any more back there? I just uh, look, I'm running low on employees back at home. <laughs> I'm going to pull out the jerry can like, there's this thing. <laughs> I can't. I I. I don't know what you want me to do with it this. It smells like... It smells great. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I can't tell. 
I don't think you're supposed to inhale so deeply. <laughs> just get in and take a big half of the gasoline. No, no, I just take enough to be like, what is it? Oh, 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 oh. okay. So up ahead where Ricky is, you see, uh, it's not a, a hallway, uh, well, it ends, but then you see a ladder climbing up to another floor. Is that what I'm doing? I'm climbing right now? Yeah, you're climbing with the <laughs> chainsaw in hand. Okay, I'm climbing and I'm dragging those chainsaws. Yeah, so like you try to get closer up to Ricky up this uh, the ladder, Piranha. You see him just kind of dangling that chainsaw and hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like almost drop it like a couple of times too. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, if... you enter. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, it's okay. If if. Is this possible to have Ricky Ticky sit on Cadence's like shoulders but hold the chainsaw still? Not without a haircut. <laughs> okay, I'm a little I didn't know it was though. on. I thought it was just holding it. It could turn on at any moment. <laughs> okay, then never mind. Keep that thing away from me. <laughs> Get that thing away from me or so help me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right, so you do see the juice, the good juice, uh, trailing off and then going to the right. Oh, hey, hey, uh, are you uh, going to keep that? And he like points to the gasoline can. No, I don't have any use for it. Can I have it? Sure. I'm thirsty. Thanks. <laughs> I would. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Go right ahead. He just like gets out of <sighs> just starts walking with it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't drink that, you're dead. Oh, but I can remember. <laughs> yeah, exactly what exactly what you said. <laughs> Besides, it's a kinda I, I can kinda feel a little burning and it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Ricky, as you come into this new area with all sorts of stripes and polka dots on the walls, let me give you a little descript. So you see these uh, tunnels, basically, and they're uh, six foot diameter. And they're fully rotating constantly. So you see one ahead of you that's rotating. You see another one that's rotating. And another one that's rotating. And um, you see uh, one, uh, the second one ahead rotates. And you can see it splits into two hallways. And then up ahead, the uh, past the third one, you can see wooden flooring. And then a hallway that goes to your, your left. And then more of those. Uh, circular kind of tunnels does the goo go straight the goo gets a little goopy you can't really tell like because the 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 things rotating kind of makes it trail in different directions and uh, ricky's just gonna get on <laughs> okay <laughs> what about the rest of you guys wait i'll wait and see if ricky survives <laughs> same here he went through uh -huh. here? <laughs> You're not supposed to tumble dry him. <laughs> uh, so, Ricky, as you do get in there, you got to do an acrobatics check. Oh, boy. Man, I'm rolling bad tonight. <laughs> it's on brand, but, you know. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. uh, you know, yeah, I got it. You know, like you go into like a like a fun house and it has those spinning circular tunnels. Yeah, that's basically what you're going through. I, you I thought like, because like the die like went to higher number that you had it. You got that chainsaw, so you're like running like this. <laughs> and you, like you had it, but then you're like top heavy, so you're like mm. you fall down. <laughs> and you see Ricky just kind of go all the way up and then falls back down on the chainsaw <laughs> and gets sliced in half and dies. Oh, and God. <laughs> <laughs> you think you see a little bit of Ricky tail in the first part of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to take some damage as you fall down. 
Okay. You're going to take four bludgeoning damage. What does the bludgeoning do? Nothing? Uh, no, it just boots you in the head. Oh, yeah, it's hurts. just if you're proficient. I got, or whatever. All right. Immune. So Ricky is the first one in. Who is next to go through the tunnel? Cadence will do it. All right. Do an acrobatics check. Oof. She did that not very well. 11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it didn't help being there. <laughs> yeah, very yeah. graceful, actually. You do it just picture perfect, but uh, a Ricky and all of his chaotic mess had made it much more complicated because he is he falls backwards and then tumbles backwards. You have to narrowly dodge him, like throwing chainsaws around. And <laughs> yeah, you tumble down. <laughs> and you're going to take three bludgeoning okay. I like how we, it's like we're all just gonna go in one at a time seeing that everybody just keeps smiling <laughs> it's just like oh my turn <laughs> <laughs> it's called right. dinner and a show when he takes another sip <laughs> <laughs> alright so next person up I guess I'm the show now <laughs> Step uh, right yeah, up. Step right up. Mine. <laughs> he, he fin- he's like, <sniffs> <laughs> and he just he just tosses the can. And he's just like, let's go. <laughs> I can't because it's paused. You can't even burp. You don't even have like a throat or anything. He, he, it's part uh, of the magic. He can it's, burp. It's called um. <laughs> he can remember. You got, a, you got... a, a, a Ricky. It's called. It's called thaumaturgy. <laughs> and then out from his pelvic bone <laughs> explosion. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shoots forward. There's just been a trail of gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you light yourself, propelling yourself forward, so you can roll with advantage your acrobatics. Oh, yeah. Um, didn't let me do advantage, so I'll just roll again. I'll take the 14. <laughs> you bonk yourself. <laughs> You're like a pinball. <laughs> he actually just like, t- t- he just, t- he just collapses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bones everywhere. <laughs> now it's even more difficult to get on this thing. I've made it. I've made it difficult to rain. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's trails of fire and bones, and then Ricky with the chainsaw. Kate's chain <laughs> in the middle, just touching everything. <laughs> and now there's the two Parents and Gideon. I look over Gideon. I look forward at the flaming chainsaw hellscape in front of me, and I look back at Gideon and I go, "After you." <laughs> I'm 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 already like pushing for on I'm like, no no, you're up, Mr. Punchy Man. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. He just starts puts his hand behind his back and he starts walking forward. Uh Acro, where are you acrobatics? Oh you're at the top. Okay. Oh, you know, dude. I saw this coming, so I I walk through the tunnel as if uh, I had already seen this and know everything that's going to happen, and I changed that to a 16. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, so you have I a premonition flash before you. Yeah. Brought just like literally just getting taken. And he didn't even have. Fire. He didn't even have to vision that. Like you could just yeah. see it <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> plus, plus, uh, plus four is a dirty 20. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so you you make yourself clean. You, you're just dodging all the fire, all the bones. You know, you matrix predict uh, Cadence just kind of flying by uh, you. And yeah. yeah, you just step your way all the way to the exit. <laughs> all there's left is Gideon. Mm. That's what, acrobatics? <laughs> mm-hmm. It would be funny if he just went the other door. Like, no. Oh my god! <laughs> I just continue walking down this way up here. <laughs> I'm going the other way. <laughs> All right. So you failed, and you're gonna take four. Uh, you're gonna take one bludgeoning <clears throat> and three fire damage. Oh my god! <laughs> Brian, you turn back and you see. The- the rest of your friends is tumbling through this tunnel of fire. 
what what caused us to know. to fall? I missed that part. Like why we were falling. You're down. like in a spinning tunnel. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I have a chainsaw, and I'm falling, and, and Saren is fall. All his bones are all over the tunnel, <laughs> and Cadence is running around, like trying to dodge the chainsaws. <laughs> I as I'm falling, I'm gonna pull out whatever the magical equivalent of like a, a cell phone is. And I'm like just flipping through, looking up on LinkedIn, like there has to be another group somewhere. These people are out of their minds. I do not know what they're doing. This is nonsense. You're just like, I'm calling HR right now. <laughs> All right. So back to uh, Ricky. Let's see if you can get out of this tomfoolery. You said I could go either way, though, right? Yeah, you could try to get your way out of there if you need to. I want to try to go up this way. So. All right. Do, do an acrobatics. See if you can get out of this tunnel hell. <laughs> Tunnel <laughs> Really? Hey! I do a fucking flip and a bow and everything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Tiki. <laughs> I'd like to imagine Ricky is like. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky's being thrown around this tunnel, ah, ah, just crashing around, and then just goes, wait a second, and just walks out of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> With the chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. Very I acne style. Like. Looney Tunes. <laughs> All right, so with that, uh, Cadence, you're up. All right, let's see if she can get out of this, too. <laughs> um, she's going to can uh, go over to where um, Peron is. It's over to the right yes. or attempt to. All right. You can do an acrobatics check. Oh, wait, I hit athlet athletics on accident. Hold on. All good. Oh, dear. 22. You yes, you finally get the grasp of this diabolical tunnel of hell and you mastercraft <laughs> flip your way through. It, luckily, there's no Ricky there, so I made it a lot easier. This time. <laughs> All right. Now, Saren, you're a bunch of bones. He's just on the f you know, like on the bottom, just constantly just being flipped over like <laughs> he's just like, thank God I can't throw up. <laughs> All right. Can uh, somebody get like a broom? <laughs> just kind of <laughs> yank me out of here. Uh, uh, I'll throw I'll throw in a free undead minion. <laughs> Get a mother hot. <laughs> Carry yeah, on. Yeah, 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 really. They kind of decompose fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're into that, freaks. <laughs> As you're like tumbling. Um, <laughs> yeah, I imagine don't have it, anything that can help him. I imagine it sounds like if you put like shoes in a dryer. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do an acrobatics check, and if somebody wants to help you. They can do the help action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't help I'll you. Help. I'm nowhere near you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not that Ricky would do it anyway. <laughs> All right, Cadence, how do you help assembly the bones that is Saren? Um, am I trying to help him, like, get out of the thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's got, she takes out her loot. And is like taking it and trying to like shovel <laughs> him right. over to her out of it. He's just, he's just like, look, as long as you just get the skull, I can do it. I can do the rest. <laughs> okay, she's trying to grab the skull then. <laughs> All right, that works. All right, acrobatics with advantage. Uh, roll it again. Two, four, six. Really? It, we it, appreciate it. It was so close to an 18. So close. You get out, uh, but you, tail. Tail. you take the crispy fire and bludgeon. Where'd the out. fire come from? You, you, you. did the energy and the gasoline. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't set it on fire. No, I, was, I was wondering where the fire came <laughs> from because I never, I never. A flicker. I thought you were just like booming your way through the. No, no, uh, no, no. I was just, uh, no, I was just uh, like you know faking the burp. Well, too bad it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I already had people get on fire. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh well. So you take a little six damage, but you're free. Cadence got you out. You're fully assembled. He, he whistles and like the rest of the bones just go <laughs> and like tumble out with them. 
<laughs> All right, last but not least, Gideon. You must get yourself out of the tunnel of fire and bones and... What, why? Why is it all like... Oh my god, the rolls tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nothing yeah, higher than a 10. Bad. All right. So you, you just have to roll higher than a 10 before the session. <laughs> your feet are a little bit more crispy than usual. Being exposed after Ricky chainsawed your shoes open. You got burnt <laughs> little toes. You're taking seven damage. Now you guys are free. There are more tunnels ahead. Or you can take the path north. I see any brain goo. <laughs> uh, there are little drip drops uh, where you guys are at, but it does not uh, seem to go in any direction. Oh, yeah. Let's go north. I'm tired of these tunnels right now. Okay. So. You lead the way. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> you'll die and you'll like it. <laughs> oh. not bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hell's great. I don't go to hell. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I have on. a timeshare. <laughs> I plan on ruling hell one day. I tried that there, not there. I got the timeshare. <laughs> well, I'll settle for a timeshare then. <laughs> uh, as you guys are about to enter, Ricky, you see a latch door. Wait, wait, before we go through the door. Oh, wait, no, Ricky's not with us, right? Ricky's yeah, somewhere Ricky's else. Ricky's the other. Okay. When, when you come back over to us, I want to I do something. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Okay, oh, no, no. <laughs> it's revenge, isn't it, for the toes, right? <laughs> no, 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 not to you. No, just to like <laughs> where we're going. <laughs> I, I open the the door. All right, yeah, it leads into like a little uh, vent system that seems to go uh, south, and then one goes north, and then one goes east, and one goes like uh, southwest. Right, that's where he crawled. Oh, wait, there are like four different directions? Yeah, it's like a vent system, but like underneath. <laughs> okay, I'm going north. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's literally Ricky's brain all the time. Just <laughs> roll it. Yeah, yeah. Just rolling. <laughs> so uh, five minutes or so pass Whoa, before where the you. Where did I go? Uh, don't worry about it. You'll see. <laughs> uh, oh no! <laughs> you just got fucking Scooby Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so as you four wait for Ricky to get out of the flaming tunnel of hell, you realize he <laughs> may not be in there. I think he's dead. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a fair assessment. <laughs> he had a contraption with him, and I do not think he was certified in using it. You guys hear in the echoes of, like, a vent somewhere. <laughs> that's all you hear. Oh, it sounds like there's a new Ricky around here somewhere. <laughs> Can I see the door? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a um, steel simple door. Before anybody touches that door, I'm going to hold up my hand and be like, wait! And uh... I'm use Divine Sense again. Okay. Uh, you sense a celestial and undead and that's really it. Mother Ryan in front of him. Okay, nothing through the door or secret cubby holes of spooky uh, siding. No, nothing. Okay, uh, okay. That's, I'm just like, I'm on edge. I don't like this place. Demons <laughs> on the wall. Little fucker <laughs> running around with a chainsaw and another guy just busting through a wall like oh, Kool-Aid yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
This place is getting <laughs> minus five stars. <laughs> on kelp. Kelp. <laughs> on so, help. <laughs> um, I have, open the door. I have one more thing I can do before we open the door. Um, she has the spell detect magic. Mm -hmm. That she likes to use. All right. Sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. It lasts for 10 minutes, it looks like. So you see past the door is a... Um, a 10-foot deep, uh, pool-sized... Uh, illumination of magic and its evocation. Ooh. Okay, guys, there's something magical in there. I don't know if there's an, a person there with it, but I see some aura of something. Well, ladies first. <laughs> from, from the back of the line, you're just going to hear, yep. Yep, brains before beauty. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm the smart one. Yeah, we know. The most beautiful. He said burn. Nope, nope, doesn't work like that. It's one, yeah. one or the other. Can't pick both of them. Nope, I get both. I get all of them. I'm the most talented. I'm the what most... are you, Queen Marie Antoinette? You can't have the cake and eat it too. <laughs> she never actually ate any cake, okay? <laughs> the Anyways, uh, Cadence will open up the door. <laughs> I remember cake. He's <laughs> 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 like, mm, cake. It's like, oh man. God. <laughs> a five foot wide path surrounds a large pit filled with blue, yellow, green, and red balls the size of apples. A soft boom is heard originating from under the balls. Then something moves. Causing the balls to shuffle about. She backs into the group and is like, there's something in the ball pit. What? You heard me. There's something in there. No, no, no. That's the second thing you said. Something about balls in a pit. Well, yeah. That, that's the thing you want to focus on? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, out of all the things here, that's just... This, I don't. I don't like this place one bit. The the guys step into the ball pit room. Yeah. Or like she <laughs> she she was like now. <laughs> you guys just close the door slowly. Like. Caden, <laughs> 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 let us know what it is. <laughs> we may be evil villains, but we're scaredy pants. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You all are cowards. And she yeah. she goes into the room. Uh, the the ball pit rumbles uh, akin to a Jaws movie. You know, you can hear the Jaws mu music intensifying. <laughs> and then finally, coming up to the top, the balls rumble, burst into the air, and jumping out of it is the most grotesque and horrifying sight. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> he 100% peed in that ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my I lost my shiny I lost my shiny and also when the balls land in the air they start to fall down and uh, the first ones they blow up like little fire bolts oh god Ricky you gotta do a deck save <laughs> oh no Ricky Yeah, uh, 21. Yeah. Here, you take half of this, which is three. Three oh. fire damage. Oh, boo. Sizzles your butt. <laughs> um, Ricky's just going to start swimming through the ball pit to try to find his chainsaw. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Excellently turning on. <laughs> Blows them all up. <laughs> so, you guys discovered the, the true hidden horror of this ball plate room. It was your good friend, Ricky. 
God, don't scare us like that, Ricky. I think I found it! And then he, ah, like, so grabs the chainsaw and lifts it in the air, but then falls over <laughs> back in the ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> So ball pit room, you have uh, inside the ball pit room proper, you see uh, two door, double wide doors to your left and right, and then you have a single door just up ahead. Any slime? Uh, perception check, look for slime. I look for the slime. Uh... I'm I'm going to use Where are you? Lucky, I rolled a sixteen. <laughs> so you do not spot the slime, unfortunately. Uh all the uh the, uh, oh, wait, that would, sorry, that would be a dirty 20. A dirty 20. The flat 16. Dirty 20. You see the trail leading to the left side. Oh, I almost missed it, but, but luckily I see this trail of slime here. <laughs> okay. I thought that was Ricky's piss. <laughs> yeah, it's all contained in the ball pit. <laughs> Pissing. <laughs> <laughs> well, lead the way, Perrant. You have the eyes to follow our trail, apparently. You're in front, though. <laughs> <laughs> I need to can, find a new group. You all can, have. You all are so how, lazy. How big? How big is Perrant? Dummy thick. I can never like, walk past him. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to pick Slide. him up and like put him physically over Cadence. He weighs twelve hundred pounds. <laughs> and I pick him up, Michael. Uh, Dummy you thick. Gotta do, you gotta do uh, screen checks contest, both of you. Okay. I wasn't joking about the twelve hundred pounds. I can change my shape, but not my weight. <laughs> it's a travesty. I'm actually 30 feet tall. Uh, they all compressed. I don't think you. I don't think you. Under, 120. <laughs> I don't think you understand how measurements work. Because he's going like <laughs> this thing to Brian, really. Uh, I'm not very strong though. <laughs> The nineteen. <laughs> you have a plus nine. Oh, yes. Yeah. I have. I have a very. A very one. I have a very special belt that helps me do things. So you realize that he puts oh. all his weight in a particular area, and you <laughs> don't. <laughs> so you manage to lift him up. If you, as you, as you're pushing him, you just hear a stone scraping sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying for that floor damage. <laughs> Just be happy I didn't put you in the pit. <laughs> so actually, before you open it, it's locked. No. Oh, I punch it. <laughs> I punch <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. All right, How did the damn brain get through it? <laughs> he's very, the uh... Very smart. Very, doing, he's very, doing, uh, investigation, doing investigation. Doing investigation cadence. A nineteen. No, you see, oh, no, you didn't roll a nineteen. With your special feline eyes, a uh, invisible <laughs> footprint that seems to be trailing along with the goop. It's kind of like has the tread of like going from outside. And uh, upon their uh, further investigation, it's very large footprints, a, a ridiculous shoe. I think someone is accompanying our young junior brain. Well, it's not me. Mm. Oh boy. Well, um, the, there's a footprint. You're the designated chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're in front of me, so go punch it open. Okay, he punches it. You punch it, and a spray of mist 
sprays into your face and you hear a laughter. <laughs> and you got to do a charisma save. Oh, dear. You'd be shocked at how charismatic I am not. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait, I am because I am. Yeah, monks punch with their charisma, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I have a plus two. Sorry. Okay. You say saving throw? Yes. It's an 11. You fall into a cackling uh, spree and you fall prone right into the ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> Did I explode? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. There was a <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to take... You're going to take 33 fire damage as you splash your car. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you said you were thick, okay? <laughs> well, he seems to be enjoying himself at least. <laughs> <laughs> so as he gets pushed down into the ball pit, it kind of makes a tidal wave effect, and it pushes all the balls out into the air, falling down. And Ricky. Every- and Ricky. But did he open the door? <laughs> no, no, the door is still closed. Cadence <laughs> okay. was freaking running away from the bombs. <laughs> Everybody make deck saves. <laughs> that isn't... Um... Actually, Ricky, you do disadvantage because you're flying in the air, but the rest of you guys do regular. You said do I have to do it? <laughs> oh. No, you're good. You're good. It, yeah. Okay. I guess I roll it twice. Dang, Cadence! <laughs> Not 20, 27 total. Hell 18. Yeah. All right. All right. So. I grabbed onto Cadence for that one. <laughs> <laughs> we all did. <laughs> Somehow. So Gideon takes 18 fire damage. Oh my and god. Ricky takes 18 fire damage. <gasps> Ricky! And Saren, you, you escape by the skin of your teeth. If you had skin on your teeth, that is. All right, calcium! <laughs> You're just doing a graceful dance, falling along cadence as they kind of just jump and backflip. And I like literally walk. weigh nothing on her, so it's just <laughs> like. <laughs> Save me! <babe. laughs> And it's raining fire. The whole place now has little um, pots of fire everywhere, just lit. And there's only like a, so many few balls still left in the ball pit. Well, I pull now. myself out of the ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> God, you fools need to stop messing around. Stop playing in the ball pit. Let's try a different door. <laughs> they said there's can we see this one up here uh yes yes you can i want to go check that door all right so yes you come to the door and is it locked <laughs> it's the first thing i want to check uh one moment It is not locked. You can push it open. Before I do. Hmm. Did, did Caden say that she was casting Detect Magic? It still should be up. Okay. But did you say that to us where I would know that? Um, She did say that there was something magical on the other side of the door okay. before they entered the ball pit room. So I feel like you would at least know that she has the ability to. I, I, see. I, I could probably assume. And then before I do anything, I'm maybe like, Hey, um, miss, uh, could you, uh, check the door just to make sure that, uh, it's not all hinky. <laughs> okay. She's going to use an action or whatever to, to look at and through the door, see if there's anything glowing. Uh, you see some conjuration magic on the floor. In the other room? Mm-hmm. Like, down the hall. Okay. Um, but but there... not on the door. Not on the door. Okay. There's some conjuration magic on the floor on the other side of the store, but the door itself is safe. Hmm.
I want to open the door. Uh, open it up, and uh, you see on the floor a murky kind of black goo strain, uh, strung across the, the entirety of this hall. Mm. Uh, you can tell that this is a grease spell effect. Well, anybody have a match? <laughs> when in doubt, grab Ricky and just throw him in there like a bowling ball. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I was about to say that this is the same thing. Ah. Well, we could use one of those bombs <laughs> to light it and blow it up. I pick up one of the balls from the pit. Yeah, there's still some in there. Can I toss it and try to have it try to burn it? <laughs> okay. So yeah, you do it. Hayden's is backing up a healthy amount. <laughs> but before that, I probably would turn to the pit. <laughs> oh, but then like look at Ricky. And look at the ball pit and go. And then pick up the ball. (laughs) (laughs) Just because those are the two options. And he was probably like. Ricky just "Mm." like, like blinks a couple of times at you and then licks his eyeball. And then just like. (laughs) (laughs) It's like a big long tongue that just like. I shudder and I just pick up the ball. I'm like right over here. Just not looking that way again for a (laughs) long minute. (laughs) Get the right. And it blows up right in the middle and it lights up the entire grease and uh, burns and sizzle it uh, out of existence. Well played. Yes, that was clever. I'll give it that a minute was clever, to like, me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I figured out that it was a spell, so I basically did how it have to work. <laughs> We've solved this clever trap. None the worse for wear, he says, and he's like on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to alarm you, Perant, but you uh you got fire on you. Oh that happens. <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> oh, sorry, <Blue>. <laughs> <laughs> now, now just don't mind me while I drink this. Drink this. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. superior healing. laughs> our max healing. Wow. wow. Oh, I thought wow. you were gonna like. Ow. I thought you were gonna like drink some of the goo and the grease. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, no! That's his protein <laughs> shake. Let me just <laughs> drink this grease. <laughs> <laughs> Potion of superior. Ew. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, the best healing I've ever done on this, in this joke ass game. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it be. That's how it be. Where all is right. that for all of Lost Minds? <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> all right, Ricky, you're going down the hall. You see a door up ahead, and you see a hallway split to the left and right of you. Oh. I open this door. <laughs> all right. Okay. What? He's so, chaos incarnate. What do you want from me? <laughs> you open up. <laughs> you see a chest there with oh, a shiny, shiny. You open it up, and what you see in there is a sight to behold. Like it gives that like golden glow as you lift it up, oh. and you see <laughs> a um, a jester's hat with golden oh god little jingle balls. Oh no! I put it on. My I look head. around for a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the origin story of how Ricky gets his hat. <laughs> I put it on my head. Oh god, this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> it fits like a crown. It's like it was made for you. <gasps> hey, god, jingle, jingle, shinies! <laughs> and I'm like doing a little dance in the in the little closet. <laughs> oh, at least we'll never lose him again. <laughs> Ricky, like where a, are you? It's like a cat. You just hear like jingle. <laughs> Maybe we should get one of those for the the we lad gal but brain the little brain. Mm. 
next time we need to have one of those little you know you put the harness on him and then it leads to a leash that we carry so he doesn't he can't hop off very far <laughs> have you seen how moist he is he'll just slip right out <laughs> we'll uh We'll just we'll wrap like three of them around him. We'll put little little bear backpacks. He'll have like three of them on. I like to keep him inside my skull. <laughs> well, next time keep him inside your skull. Don't let him bounce out and around. Uh, it's basically it's your, your fault. fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, up so well. Jaw just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't put that on me, Cadence. You know I love him like like my own. Well, then let's go find him. I'm trying. He just gets the rattle back out. Come back, little baby brain. Is this is this skull just like starting to sop? It's like somehow becoming moist. Yeah. I don't know how. So, Ricky, in this barrel, you find a barrel full of feather candy. It's basically like cotton candy, but made of feathers. Uh, these are <laughs> shiny. I don't want them. <laughs> He's going to go in this room. He's just going and opening all the doors. He Open wants more up. shiny. You find sweet dogs. Like puppies? No, corn dogs. Oh, no. No, <laughs> no, no. Not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for in this door. Ricky, you open this up. And as Ricky's what, opening actual- it up... <laughs> Ricky goes in like you're searching through the box and then in the shadowy darkness there is a tall figure looking at him with red piercing eyes and it steps into the light and Ricky you don't see it but it is a mascot of a clown figure with a big toothy grin he just he's going to cower (laughs) 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 Ricky's <laughs> 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 please don't hurt Ricky I hey, look you're shiny I you mean it said don't hurt me <laughs> and uh yeah, 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 yeah. one second that's not the token oh no <laughs> And he's yelling this, like, loud. So everyone can hear him freaking out. Oh, God, if he's doing that, it means it's actually something. (laughs) (laughs) I thought that wasn't the token, Michael. (laughs) No, no, give give it a moment. Give it a moment. Sorry, that's not it. Is he still wearing the Jester hat when he does that? (laughs) Yes. So it's like, you just hear crying and jingling. (laughs) (laughs) All right, everybody, roll initiative. Oh, I got to clear it. Hold up. Don't do anything. Don't do it. Okay, do it again. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> Parant, you hear your dear friend Ricky drinkle. Well, in let's terror. not go too far. <laughs> <laughs> let's not commit to things. Uh, I am going to very, very slowly walk down the hallway. And it better be good. <laughs> you hear barrels and boxes crash into each other, you hear jinglings like. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, God. <laughs> walks, walks back down the hallway. Like, nope. Nope. All right. I'm going to hit him twice. And then I'm going to use Flurry of Blows to hit him twice more. And to flavor this, I am picking up Ricky and I'm swinging him at him. You also get uh, advantage, right? Yeah, why, why? you gain advantage on attack exactly. rolls against enemies within 10 feet of you until the start of your next turn. Or end of your next this turn. There's going to be a lot of rolls. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Ooh. 
fit of her goes. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. It's a lot of dice. Oh god. <laughs> it is. I'm gonna re-roll that 13 real fast, because I think everything else hits. <laughs> So we got a crit, a 28, 26, a 26. And he's going to re-roll that third. Yeah, that's a lot of nuts. Yeah. Is that with advantage? <laughs> I love that button, Tony. Uh, okay, so that definitely just misses. <laughs> Unless a 15 hits? <laughs> no, a 15 does not hit, but... Okay. So... So what are we going to get? 11 plus 16, 17, 17, 27... Does Ricky add any damage to this? <laughs> no, just advantage. Sorry. I think he kind of likes the damage because you're like a actually punching him sometimes, like when you're doing your. <laughs> you just hear jingles like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just set him back down again. <laughs> it's you're actually like smashing. Something. You smash into him, and you see like bolts and stuff fly out. Like you're just punching like a Chuck E. Cheese animatronic. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. That'll Kaden. be me. <laughs> Perant is punching things in a closet. What are you doing? Again. Um, I'm going to use Dissonant Whispers. Sorry, he has to make a Wisdom Saving Throw on a failed save. He takes 15 damage. Um, and if available, move as far as its speed allows away from you. Um, if it does succeed, then the target takes half as much damage and doesn't have to move away. It fails with a 10. And um, as it's getting punched by Perant, it, uh, like that ringing in this construct's ears forces it to like just twist its head exorcist style backwards and like its body's like moving forward but its head's moving backwards and it just <laughs> just kind of clipping into the wall as much as it can because it has nowhere to go <laughs> oh i hate that i'm never doing that again god <laughs> okay gideon oh she's gonna move back a little bit okay all right, Gideon. What do you do? Is Ricky here, or is he being held by Brian? I set him down after I hit the guy with him. <laughs> oh, how nice of you! Very kind. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is inside the room, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, Ricky's really small. You could just stand on top of it. <laughs> I mean, would I be able to, like, pretty much stand here and, like, fight over top of Ricky? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he's a small cretin. So. Okay. <laughs> cretin. Malleable. And I will, I will move up there and lay into uh, Clown Man. <laughs> uh, With advantage. With advantage. Ricky's How tall useful. is Ricky? What? How tall? About yeah, like a couple feet. Yeah, I would say maybe two feet. Okay, I imagine him like the size of Pikachu, <laughs> but not as cute. <laughs> oh no, definitely not as cute. Oh god, <laughs> he needs to stop licking his eyeball. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, so oh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> god. That still hits though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. You kinda like slip no. up with your rapier and you kinda like land her to its maw and then you like Oh wait, I, I have an advantage on Yeah, I was gonna say, is that with advantage? Cause I can't yeah, I I I just I'll just roll it again. Uh oh, 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 got some oh, heaven and hell shit. <laughs> you went from rolling a nat one to a nat twenty for oh, our viewers. Wow. wow. So Amazing. Nineteen damage. Um <laughs> he tripped so hard that he accidentally hit it really well. <laughs> yeah, you kinda like hit it so hard that it starts going into the singing thing and it's like happy jet you know the Chuck E. Cheese singing motion. Like oh. You Good it. lord, no, you need to stop. 
No. <laughs> Turn what it off, please. Five Nights at Jack's. <laughs> hearing, hearing it sing like that, I'm just going to lay into it even more and just my, <laughs> use my extra attack. Uh, so 20. Let me see if I get another crit. I, oh my god. The damage is kind of poopy. Oh, yeah, you, 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 you like overlay so many songs, so many tracks, and so many motions <laughs> of this robot. It just starts spinning out of control, and then it like its head spins, and then it just shoots off into the ceiling, and deactivates. Oh, it shut down. Okay. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, nice. And with that last little motion, we're gonna take our first break. Hey. So, I hope you guys are enjoying our. Licky Lair presents League of Evil. We'll come back in about uh, 15 minutes to continue with part two. Uh, Toby, do you want to talk about our charity a little bit for our viewers? Hey guys, right now we're doing a charity. We are raising money for Extra Life for the Children's Miracle Hospital Network. And how much how much do we have right now? I can't see it. We have $86. We're forty three percent. So we're ha- we're almost halfway to our goal of two hundred. Last year we raised a little over a hundred for um, uh, almost said Austin. I um I said I was about to say something completely different for Austin Pets uh, Cool Times Alive. And um, <laughs> uh, this year uh, we want to go above and beyond for Extra Life because they're a great cause. They do great things for kids and. I just think it's great to um, give children the treatment that they need through the power of gaming. <laughs> that yeah. is and so. The link so, is in the chat. <laughs> now if you and if you miss ever miss the link, it's just uh, exclamation mark exclamation point charity, and you'll get our Tiltify link, and that means it goes through Tiltify. The money never touches our little hands, <laughs> and you know that your money's going to a good cause. Yay! Uh, <laughs> we may be our characters may be evil, but we are not. We like helping children. <laughs> we don't like burning orphanages. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> to an extent. <laughs> so and every dollar counts. Even a dollar counts. <laughs> Any like anything is acceptable to help. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna transition now to our BRB. Bye, bye everybody. Yay! Bye. Uh, Michael, you want to do the announcement? <laughs> Thanks, Cass, for donating $20, whoever you are. Yeah, I know you watched the stream. Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> oh my god, who could have done that? Wow. <laughs> All right. Wow. Oh, definitely beer. not me. Be, be right back, everybody. Thanks, bye. Big shout out. Thank you. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our special League of Evil one shot for the Halloween weekend, um, where our Denzians of disastrous proportions, known as the League of Evil, have entered a fun house of horrors to look for their junior brain uh, and bring them back to safety. But what they have found in the midst of this fun house of horrors is in fact horrors themselves. Um, and last we left off, they were just dealing with an animatronic from hell, which they had dealt with swiftly. But, uh, they must find the key to the secret room of where the last bits of goo from Junior Brain was last seen. Boop. The animatronic falls apart, crumples, and yeah, you're just left there with the, the broken bits of an animatronic. What do you guys do? Oh, it's creepy, and she kicks the parts of it away. <laughs> Sarah just walks up like, what were you guys even fighting? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> ah, new <fun. laughs> A children's entertainment machine. Truly terrible. A new phobia unlocked. 
<laughs> I feel bad for children. <laughs> I thought that was horrible. That. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. So fucking lewd. It just donated fifty dollars. And he oh. says, I oh hope we God. run into an NPC named Given. Given. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to hang. I'm trying to get the alert to work. Hang on. So thank you so much. So there we go. Wherever you are, Very kind that, is, that is one lewd sofa king. <laughs> it really is. We we can only be so lewd. I bet time. he dug all that money out of the couch. Hey, <laughs> guys, <laughs> we're at double couch. <laughs> guys, we're at one hundred and fifty-six dollars. We're only forty. Math, hold Four. on. Four. Four. <laughs> Thank you. Forty-four dollars away from two hundred. <laughs> Woo! We can do it. Oh. Guys, if you do this, I will. I don't know. <laughs> hang on, hang on. We're all like, beep, beep, beep. Let me beep. get this up. We're I want an NPC cord. named Kevin. I got, I got, got it. Got him. Got him, boys. Got him on, on, on tape. <laughs> Contact everybody you know right now. <laughs> <laughs> we need this NPC in Kevin. And then we, need, we need to protect him with everything. <laughs> Even if he's the BBEG. No, we need a goal. Okay, so if we can reach a goal of our 200 spots by the end of tonight, I will DM any game, any module of these players' choosings. I don't know. Or something else right. crazy. Think of it. Lost Minds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, okay? I'll do it for the children. I, I, I would be split between that and also really voting for maybe like maybe like a magical girl <laughs> campaign. Sailor scenario. Moon. Sailor <laughs> Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh God. I would just I send you all back to Ravenloft again. <laughs> I, I was sitting here like Curse of Strahd 2.0. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> speed uh -oh. run strat. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, the animatronic is destroyed, and you guys are left with the remains. You may continue looking through the, uh, the little closets of storage, or you can continue onwards. It's up to you. I think at this point, Ricky is, like, so in fear <laughs> of what happened that he's just, like, on the floor, like, covering his head, like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> He's petrified. Don't worry, Ricky, you struck well and you struck hard. Well, actually, you were, you were pretty malleable, but still. <laughs> he did ah. something. Hold on, I got this. <laughs> It just just like picks up stone stiff Ricky and just puts him like just <laughs> get in the rib cage. <laughs> you like it in there. He just curls up in there. <laughs> Don't say I never did anything nice for you. <laughs> I, I I I turn and much nicer. try to try to throw politely away from everybody so they don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I would, don't know, dear. He's. I, I'm going to look for the goo. <laughs> All right, everybody, roll perception for goo. And Ricky. Uh, Ricky can look for goo. Caden got a twenty-five. Twenty-one. If anyone's gonna find this goo, it will be me. I got an eight. Twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, inside, maybe, inside maybe Ricky, Ricky will see it. Instead. Well, wait, hold on. I'll, I'll do it again at disadvantage. I feel like that's fair, right? What? I'm making a call here. Okay. <laughs> I'm the DM now. <laughs> but you're so close to the ground. Of course you'd be able to see it. <laughs> okay, 11. <laughs> so you check the, the severed head of this animatronic uh, horror. You see inside of its uh, spiky tooth maw inside is a key. Plug it out. Hmm, I wonder if this goes towards that room that he was punching. Good. I don't know why they put the keys in the mouse. It's very, uh, 
weird. You don't do that? <laughs> no, why would I put keys in my mouth? It's really convenient. <laughs> he just like <laughs> rips his jaw like wide open and just shows you like some hooks that he's like drilled to the top of his like <laughs> he's just like, hey, ah <laughs> great for storage. Got clothes clothes hangers and everything. <laughs> it's good for laundry. Mouth of holding. <laughs> Mouth of holding. <laughs> So now you have possession well, of the key. Let's go, Ricky. Like just like pats his pets Richard. Let's go. Curiosity will get the better of me, and I I will oh. check these other two rooms since we've ripped oh. all these other rooms. All right. So opening the door, you see in the crates, um, candied apples in this room. I will take a candy <laughs> apple. All right. Uh, and in this one, you find deep fried fruit pies. I will take five of those. <laughs> and then there is one last room unexplored. Yeah. Yeah. You open it up and uh, what you see, you uh, look through the barrels and you notice that there's a trap door underneath the barrels. <sighs> Hmm. I want to take a peek. A peeky peek. Uh, you can see it leads down a very long ways, like mm. snake eater style. You know, you're going down that ladder for a very long time. Uh, we'll let everybody else know about the weird underground tunneling. Perhaps we should split up and look for clues. <laughs> I mean, do you think the baby's down there? Boom. Is it, how far down does it drop? <laughs> uh, you can do uh, an investigation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> four. You drop a pebble and it just falls down. For a very long time. Uh, if the baby's down there, I'm pretty sure it's not a baby anymore. <laughs> like it grew up? <laughs> yes, that's exactly how physics works. It, just, it turns you into an older person. <laughs> it fell down so long, it aged. <laughs> I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> Who has the key? Oh, it would be you, Cadence. You have okay, well, then I'm going to go back to that bomb room and try that door that seemed to confuse the big guy. Okay. Come on, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who's going down the ladder and who's going to the super happy fun oh, room? Nope. Nope. I'm <laughs> screw the ladder. <laughs> See everyone walk away. Nope. 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 <laughs> All right. I'm going solo. Watch my back. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> doesn't need to make sense. Well, I'm I going. went to the wall. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I went with you because <laughs> I'm in your rib cage. <laughs> All right. So, Cadence, you open the door, put the key in. Opens up, creaks open, and inside you see what seem to be blanket crates. Five crates containing scrap made blankets sewn from discarded clothes. And um, as you move further down, you see three colored uh, slides. And on the top of them, you see they read each of them uh, the red one, ketchup. The yellow and mustard, and the green relish. Are these going down slides or just arriving slides? Going down slides. Okay. Well, looks like we were going down one way or another. Are the or slides? Just... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead first. 
I was just going to say, or we don't go down either, any of them. There's still that other set of doors we can check out. But it's well, Lathander didn't raise Lathander didn't raise no bitch, and he goes down the relish slide. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him go! He's relishing the opportunity. God damn! <laughs> Are the slides shiny? Um, one of them is, and you notice it in the limelight. Uh, the mustard has a gleam of brain goo. I'm like rattling uh, Sarah's red cage. Like, let me out! Let me out! Shiny! Shiny! <laughs> God, just see, like, opens up his cloak. It's like a- the alien thing coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny! And I'm gonna go, like, I'm gonna dive into the slide. All right. You said these crates have blankets in them? Yeah. They're, like, stitched together. Basically, they're, like, little things you slide down the ramps with. That's just good to say. I see all these people jumping, like, can I grab a blanket? <laughs> yep, and then you just see sparks coming off of his parents' butt <laughs> as he slides down without the thing. Let me do this. One, so one, two, three. He got a dumpy. <laughs> got a dumpy. I'm gonna grab a blanket and go down the ketchup. All right, you're going down ketchup. Yep. You got a Tokyo drift around that curb. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> and it's insane. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like going down a water slide. And there's not enough like water yet, and I get to like here just hear that audible like. Bah! I'm just like <laughs> trying to fight and wiggle through. All right, now Cadence and Saren, the the toughest choice of your life. Will you choose ketchup, mustard, or relish? All the all the way down, I'm yelling, "Ha ha!" Try to catch up with me now. <laughs> I, like I bet, like I could just imagine Cadence and Saren standing there and looking at each other, like, "You want to go check out those other doors?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she will look at Saren and just be like, "Well, so should we follow them or go look at those other doors?" Well, where's the baby? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to find that out. <laughs> Um, can he try to like, like, look at the slides and see if he can determine which one has brain slime on them? <laughs> uh, you saw Ricky going for the shiny and it, get, it caught your gaze towards the mustard slide. <sighs> well, I have to go with Ricky because technically we're legally married. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. Wait. <laughs> I'll, I'll follow you down the mustard slide. Then. Oh wait, no, that didn't happen. That's in the future. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, yeah. and the other, the other marriage. Yeah, I never had a baby. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> uh, Ricky, Ricky had a family. Oh. Ricky had a life. That's mechanically, not- mechanically, I have the spell ceremony at level twenty, and I can wed two people and they get plus two AC for the next like eight days. So I was like, who has the lowest AC? And Ricky was like, me! I was like, okay, I'm gonna marry you with, with who? And he had two like, I don't even know what the call Sex- them. Like. There were sexy, sexy kobolds. Kobold. There were sexy, sexy kobold. kobold number one and sexy kobold <laughs> number two. And he married oh, me to sexy God. kobold number one. <laughs> yep. Number two oh, went flying into space. And as you're surfing down these slides, you start to see that uh, the, the, the the downward slope of these slides start to start shooting out liquid and you realize it is the condiment of your choice. Oh, so Parant, you are going down a slide relish cadence, Saren, Ricky, a slide of mustard. We're on the and- sacks though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think only I guess Gideon you could say picked this it. Is a... Yeah, only Gideon said he picked it. So everybody's just kind of riding with their butt. Yeah, she, would have, she would have gotten us that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll uh... Thank you. What about Sarah and Ricky, though? Yeah, I don't he just dove in. He <laughs> didn't even think. Investments get the job done. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so you guys are sliding down and eventually you get to the curb and you see um, a strange, magical, oh, like, like kind of like veins uh, organism uh, down the slide. Uh, Why don't I pick ketchup? 
I <laughs> <laughs> gotta deal with the big veiny thing. <laughs> so, as you guys are sliding down, you see it uh, coming your way. What do you do? I drink this. No. <laughs> I, have to, I, have to pick, I have to pick the right one. <laughs> All right. There we go. I don't have permission to pick it. Okay, my strength to fucking whatever is axes. <laughs> there you go. That's the answer. <laughs> What's your strength, Zach? <laughs> 29. 29, okay. Thank you. What? Yeah. <laughs> my, I got, I got the belt on. Mine. Oh, I was like, <laughs> how at no. level 10 did no, you no, even? No, no, no. We got to keep one legendary, and I was like, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> okay, so I as you guys so you drank the potion. Does yeah. anybody want to do any preparations to avoid this <laughs> incoming um, mm. trap? Um, let me look. Oh, well, what I do, Michael, is I drink the potion and then I just I spin around, so I'm laying on my belly, and I stick my fist out with the uh, with the the power glove on it. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go straight through it like I'm missing. Wait. I'm trying to think. I go through it and then he vanishes. He just disappears. Yep. Like it's sucked into like a black hole. Boy, I hope nobody's on the other side of this. <laughs> I will obliterate them. <laughs> well, I was, was going to say before he did that, because um, I think me and Piranha are the only ones that took like a lot of damage, right? I drank a potion. I'm full up again. Oh, okay. <laughs> you hear that, Saren? I took healing stuff this time. <laughs> Good, because I can't do shit by you. <laughs> <laughs> Can Cadence use Mage Hand to like grab onto something around her to like prevent herself from being pulled into it? Hmm. Is that possible? Oh. I don't think, I think Mage Hand can only hold 10 pounds. <laughs> oh, okay. And it doesn't. I thought that meant just like lifting it. It could lift you if you're like 10 pounds. Yeah. It can only lift like Ricky. <laughs> um, is there like anything nearby, like a lever or something like that? Hmm. I want you to do an investigation or perception. Okay. Can I help her? Yeah. Uh, well, no, you're on the catch up side. Oh, is it like completely we just can't yeah. see each other? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was that like, the, like the, I thought it was like the half slide Ugh, where you could like 11. peek over it. Yeah, that's fine. Drugs. Uh, so perception. Nope. You can't find anything within that span of time. And um, before you know it, you slide into this area and. <laughs> and you appear somewhere else. If it's like a complete tube, right? Mm -hmm. We're going down. Can I try to do some like athletic maneuver to like scoot up on the side over here to avoid like touching this thing? Uh, yeah, sure. Do an athletics check. Before I do that, though, mm -hmm. I want to use my channel divinity. And activate peerless athlete. So for the next ten minutes, I have advantage. Oh, fancy. Uh, okay, so I have to roll this twice. Athletics, uh, twenty-three mm -hmm. or a twenty-five. You slide on through, curving your way, and you manage to get it on to the other side, narrowly avoiding that strange. Oh, there's boxes back there. <laughs> yeah, you kind of slide past them. And uh, you miss all the trinkets and bubbles. No! <laughs> Not bubbles! <laughs> uh, I need more candy apples! <laughs> Ricky. Ricky and Saren, what do you do? I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to pull out my wand of wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna aim at it. 
at the big red thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, uh, and I gotta roll a d100. That's a lot of stuff. Eighty-four. So you cast <laughs> invisibility on yourself, <laughs> <laughs> and then Ricky slides down, and you do not hear Ricky anymore. And you don't see him either. Yeah, oh we don't see. Ricky oh, where's Ricky? Where are you going, <laughs> buddy? <laughs> All right, Sarah, and you're last. What do you do? Um, well, I like approaching it, like. Is there, like, any way to tell what this thing is? You can do an arcana check. Oh, no, I'm stupid. (laughs) 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 He's, like, squinting at it. He's just like, I don't know what that is. (laughs) And, uh... Hmm... Hold on, I'm reading. (laughs) Is it like covering up like the whole like tube? Yeah, it's kind of permit like crossing through it, but only like at the bottom level of the uh, tubes. Like loop-de-loop. Yeah, like loop-de-loop. No, like if you got like on top of the tube and like you were like skrrr. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, do a (laughs) kickflip. I'm like, does freedom of movement help with that? (laughs) (laughs) Do a sick (laughs) kickflip. I can see that. He just like, um, oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? I love it when the uh, when Foundry's just like, hey, do you want to put all the spells onto the thing? And I'm like, I I don't know. Just like he like sees it coming up and like in a panic, he's just like, oh, fuck, mm-hmm. <laughs> like does freedom of movement and just like tries to just go whoop, <laughs> Pat, like using like the curve of the of the slide to just go Wah! over it. <laughs> All right, doing athletics with advantage. Ooh, a 30. Wow! <laughs> you literally transform into a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> he just like has his like he has his uh he's like doing like the you know you go down the side he wants to cross your arms and legs and he just goes <laughs> just through it like like mm-hmm. fuck that. <laughs> oh God, where am I going? You two finally make your way all the way down the slide, come out on the other end, a mustard and ketchup victorious. Just looks over at um, Giddy's just like. Well, hey, that means we get paid more. <laughs> uh, maybe I may. Did they did they did they get stuck up there? Do they not understand how a slide works? <laughs> well, I saw my husband just go phew, disappear you're, and do it. <laughs> you're, you're what? <laughs> We're married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a. Congratulations! It's a, it's a tax scheme. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> a long con type thing. Uh, Ricky, Ricky's doing it. I'm really, honestly, just, I just liked the ring. <laughs> Are we allowed to move around? By the way, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Am I alive? And Cadence, I found oh, a God. dumbass. <laughs> what a horrible creature this is. <laughs> 
It's a hideous art. May I offer you a card in this trying times? And she hands him a card, and it's an Uno reverse card. <laughs> or he just you would just, dare? just taps you. Do you end up? You dare to end up in a pile of veins. <laughs> it's gross. Oh, Pulsing. I hate it. There's a ladder it. over here. Michael, I go oh. up this ladder. All right, you go up there and they hear snake eat it, but for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> She'll climb up after him. It's okay. And and sing along to snake eater, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> As those two are climbing up the ladder, Ricky Gideon. <laughs> Yeah. I saw Gideon, but I registered it as Perrant, so I yeah. was like, oh, hey, guys, and then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> no. is, Ricky, is Ricky invisible? Yeah. He's invisible. I, I, I'm going to say, like, I, I can't the see. Jingling. So I'm just, like, going to keep walking, <laughs> like, not paying it any mind, because I see nothing. <laughs> well, may, maybe, maybe. Uh... I think you I do hear, hear Ricky. Yeah, I was like, you do hear the jingles. 23? <laughs> mm, you 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 hear the ringling of the jingling bells. I pause, but then I keep walking anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Rickolus, is that you? Rickolus, you heard me. Rickolus Cage. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, what's up, Saren? <laughs> oh, you're in here. I'm right. I'm right next to you. <laughs> Are you smaller? <laughs> I'm the same. I mean, I don't think I got smaller. I haven't measured myself in a while. Mm -hmm. I'll do that when we get home. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so as you guys get up here, um, you can see above you, you know, like. Um, what is it called? Like, you know, in theater, they have those. Um, things where they can like. Uh, walk across the stages and stuff like that. Oh, scaffolding? Scaffolding, that's it. And you see a whole bunch of it above your heads. And um, as you guys are uh, gazing upon that, uh, Perrant and Cadence, you come up, you climb up, and you could see the scaffolding entrance. Uh, it kind of pans out. And you guys see a figure out there in the middle of the scaffolding. Uh, and the figure calls out, Is this who you're looking for? And he uh, shows out, and the spotlights shine on him, and it is Happy Jack uh, atop the scaffolding, holding in his hands a squishy, tiny junior brain. Unhand that baby! I'm gonna bring you guys over here. So you guys are on the floor. You're about. I probably shouldn't have been shocked. It's Happy Jack. <laughs> I don't think I'm familiar with Happy Jack. One second. Hold up. I just saw his name on the sign, to be honest. Wow, I didn't know you could read. <laughs> Neither did I until now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why bother if people who did that for me? I was like, the hippo oh, was Happy Jack all along! <laughs> Plot twist. I tried to the kill you brain. guys when you got here. <laughs> Plot twist. Uh, the, the hippo's brain here got too. Googly eyes. <laughs> so, uh, what Perrant and <laughs> Cicada see, as they uh, look across and see Happy Jack, they look up and they hear a loud grumble as Bubby the wear. Hippopotamus looks over them. Did you so, say where hippopotamus? Yeah, where hippopotamus. Oh my gosh. Oh god. That's why I was trying to catch <laughs> you this whole time. <laughs> so uh yes, you guys are about a hundred feet up, and that's where the scaffolding is. It's a hundred <laughs> feet up. And let me adjust the measurement so you guys know exactly how high you guys are. And um the hippo is 100 feet up. Wow, you guys are at the floor, and uh, Happy Jack and Junior Brain are 100 feet up in the air on the scaffolding. 
So we're on the floor and they're on the scaffolding? Yes. And the spotlight yep. shines on them and they are holding Junior Baby. <gasps> junior Baby Brain. Ready to drop him. I've dropped him from higher heights. <laughs> I don't believe you. I'm a you... terrible babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> your bones chatter when you're lying. They always chatter. <laughs> exactly, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do his yeah. Pants, <laughs> do his pants look on fire? I think not. <laughs> I haven't worn pants in 300 years. <laughs> Happy Jack. Oh, uh, does a little fake out and grabs the uh, little tendrils of Junior Baby, Junior Baby Brain, and sees that uh, gauges a reaction from anybody. Cadence really oh, doesn't boy. care. <laughs> <laughs> We're all doing this. Why would we care? Yeah. <laughs> the most indifferent the- party. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, Gideon's probably sitting there doing the whole like. <laughs> is he gonna drop him? He needs to drop him. This is very awkward. What? Yeah. Michael, I'm gonna squat down and stick my butt out like I'm gonna jump, and then I activate this. No, but I, I do gain a, a flying speed of 30 feet. No. So above. <laughs> um, Mr. Happy Jack is a radiant, vibrant, um, flying. Shiny? Garage. Shiny. <laughs> yeah. Shiny. Oh, shiny, shiny. <laughs> I'm going to start climbing the scaffolding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I had an idea. I'm going to use prestidigitation on Junior Brain to make Junior Brain very shiny. <laughs> Even right. shinier than me, Junior Brain is the shiniest thing that you've ever seen. Oh, I'm going for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to make it official. Can we, can we do actions and stuff like that, right? Oh <laughs> my Jesus. god. <laughs> shining bright Not like now. the divine... <laughs> Of God itself. Junior brain has never looked so glorious. <laughs> and can I run like underneath where he's holding Junior brain? Of course, yes. So you're going to catch the baby. Yep. And hey, then can, hey. I, can I do another thing? No, no you got to run. Uh, let, uh, Ricky, what are you doing? I'm climbing. You're climbing? To the okay, baby. You're, are you climbing to the baby? <laughs> So you're climbing. Gideon's trying to catch under the baby. Saren, what are you doing for the baby? Uh, Saren <laughs> Sar- was like, oh, God, not this again. <laughs> and he like <laughs> gets out of his bag. And he's just like, Gary, it's happening again. <laughs> and he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna dump the bag out. <laughs> so uh, a couple of minions <laughs> come out. <laughs> it's like, come on, come on. <laughs> And uh, he's gonna give him like his just his vestment robes, and he's just like, hold it like this. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know the drill. We've done this before. Oh yeah. Oh. oh okay. I've literally brought this baby back to life twice. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bad babysitter. <laughs> ah, you see, in Happy Jack's Funhouse, one baby drop. Um. Mm. I, I I don't know. Something bad will happen. You guys are not very good good at being bad. <laughs> um, I'd like to have Cadence do something when I can. Yeah, you can. Okay, she's gonna use a dominate person on him. <clears throat> oh, no. that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. How wise is Happy Jack? <laughs> Well, we're about to see. Not quiet. If he fails the um, wisdom save, then he has to do what I say. He has failed. The ha! Get down here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he walks towards you with the baby. Well, I mean, okay, safely. <laughs> climb, <laughs> climb. Okay, so she says climb down here. <laughs> Oh, he's on the same level. He, like you're on the sh- the scaffolding, and like you're on the same level as him. Oh, I thought he was like higher above. Okay, yeah. Come, he climbed the ladder, so mm. we were. He's like, "Would you like me to drop the baby?" No. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then as you're doing that, as Perant is doing his precedentation on the shiny baby, <laughs> you don't notice behind you silently creeping up, which is a, a strange thing. Oh, we got a donation. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Michael M. Michael oh, my M. brother in arms <laughs> <laughs> donated twenty dollars. Yay! Woo, thank you. The thank congregation you of Michaels Mike. blesses you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Mike, aka Alter. Yay. Oh, thanks. Hey. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> but yes. Love you. <laughs> it's Michael like we don't say that to all you. of our donators. <laughs> I didn't even get a love you. <laughs> I didn't love you. That's so hard my fate came out. <laughs> so, in the shadowy darkness, a hippopotamus sneaks up on Cadence as the baby and Happy Jack is being brought to her. But will it hit her? With a oh, 21. Oh my oh, god. No. So you got to roll a constitution saving throw, see if you can maintain the spell. Can I can I fall below when I see Happy Jack moving? 14. You got it, but you also now must roll a D2 or contract <sighs> lycanthropy, but for hippopotamuses. Hippopotamus trophy. <laughs> one D2? Yeah, one D2. One, you get it, two, you don't. What's it's that lethal. <gasps> oh, oh I would God. like to use. No. <laughs> uh, I would like. I would like to use my portent to make that a two. What? The... Roll the two on my portent. Thank port you. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> the clutch play. <laughs> so you see a whole life of Cadence just like go forward in time, and you see her just suffering, becoming a hippopotamus. <laughs> Finally dying on the deathbed, like holding your arms per run, saying, like, I wish I was an hippopotamus. And then it all just rewinds. <laughs> <laughs> did, did Cadence see that, too, or did she have no idea what happened? I, I'd, I'd like to think you have, like, a deja vu moment, like, you just experienced that. that okay. You don't know if that was real. Ugh. I feel like I was a hippo at some point. Oh, God. How, how dreadful. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Quite ugly creatures. <laughs> exactly <laughs> not unlike and she looks and makes eye contact with him and goes us <laughs> that's the best compliment you're gonna get out of her <laughs> <laughs> so with the, the whole fire crew of all the skeletons and Gideon and Ricky all just kind of clamoring around trying to catch that baby <laughs> get that they baby the ready and everything we got firefighter crew suits on uh, happy jack Comes towards um, <coughs> Cadence and hands over Junior Baby. And then Cadence hands it over to uh, to um, Saren. Apple. Oh, to you Saren. grabbed it, but guess what? Baby Slippy. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Save. Who greased the baby? <laughs> Who greased the baby? <laughs> well, I mean, he's just, he's always like that. <laughs> Can I but didn't he go down the, like, the mustard slide or the ketchup slide yeah. or whatever? <laughs> yeah, he's coated in mustard, okay? Mustard, <laughs> I feel like getting mustard too. on a brain is uh, damaging. Can, <laughs> can Ricky do something? <gasps> yes. Uh, like, as, like, uh, Cadence is, like, juggling... Junior brain, you may do something. This last pitch. Time I slows. I'm gonna aim my <laughs> wand of wonder <laughs> at the brain. Oh no! Fireball. Hey, good things can happen. <laughs> You're gonna make a timeline. <laughs> You're gonna make a multiverse happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go for it. This is how Junior Brain turns into that gross, grotesque form that is Master Brain. <laughs> All right. So that's how, I, that's how I leave Ricky for the master break. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> 36. An animal appears in the unoccupied space nearest the target. The animal <laughs> isn't <laughs> under your control and acts <laughs> as it normally would. Roll yes. a D100 to determine which animal appears <laughs> on a 120. Oh, God. Rhinoceros. <laughs> An elephant or a rat. 
<laughs> All right, do a do a T one hundred. Here we go. Seventy two. So, <laughs> Cadence, as you're like trying to grab this, a rat appears on top of Junior Brain, and like for a moment you kind of pause, <laughs> and the rat looks at you, and then it just starts burrowing into Junior Brain, like just chewing into. <laughs> <laughs> G- Gideon, you climb up just in time, seeing this travesty happen. Can I? Can I? Well, I was I was down here, right? Yeah. Can I? Well, am I climbing up there, or like am I stuck yeah, down here? Yeah, you okay. Can climb up. Um. Hmm. Can Can I see the rat? Yeah, the rat is burrowing <laughs> in the junior brain. You don't have much time. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the rat and be like, "Hey, you stop." <laughs> I, I want to cast command on the, on the rat. This oh, is God. a fucked up ratatouille situation <laughs> going on. <laughs> All right, so a rat's got to make a, a DC 19 wisdom save. Yep. <laughs> you, well, you know, a rat has got like a plus 20 stat log, you know? Just oh, like, I know. know. <laughs> this rat's the BBEG. All along. That's what he meant. Oh, that one! <laughs> oh, Michael, don't do that to me. <laughs> he said that <laughs> one. It was like, oh, could you imagine? Well, you know, it's no. and it like looks at you and it goes, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it blows up. <laughs> the baby rat dead. Ricky's just like, oh. <laughs> uh, but um, that doesn't save anything because Cadence, okay, do a. Actually, do a sleight of hand check. <laughs> but actually, okay. that whole scene we just did was useless. Do a sleight of hand. <laughs> oh no, a seven. <laughs> baby falls down, Saren. Catch that baby. Catch that football. I mean, baby. <laughs> I mean, brain. <laughs> you got all your, like, <laughs> wide receivers, skeletons, just, like, running into each other, bumbling. <laughs> go on, go on. We have, we have a net out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me see. I want you to roll a perception check, see if you can gauge where this baby gonna land <laughs> with advantage because you put up the net. Uh, Twenty-seven. <laughs> you probably can't do better than that. <laughs> So 27. <laughs> it bounces into the net and you <laughs> kind of close it up, catch it. The baby is yours. Just see, got it. <laughs> just just like, come here, you little rascal. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's like, Help yay. Me. <laughs> but, Michael, I would like to fly down with my wings and my 29 strength. I uh, grab Happy Jack by the throat and I lift him up and I tell him, tell him, you have threatened something you should not have. Something small, precious, and moist. Okay. You've threatened my job security. <laughs> and for that, you will pay. And then I drop him. Like, <laughs> part now. Ah! Breaks his legs. My legs! <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> <laughs> and we cut away outside of the fun house of horrors, where our party has just met up with the local police department. And the police chief comes up to the group. Well, I gotta give it to you, a little league of miscreants. You should have caught Happy Jack and his tomfoolery. Ooh, are we heroes? Oh, gross! No, I'm. I arrest. I'd rather you arrest me than print my name in the paper as a hero. Oh. And I can I try to fabricate that we all have warrants out on us. We all get arrested. <laughs> oh, I have of, several warrants. <laughs> you don't have to fabricate yeah. that. You don't have. To. <laughs> Ricky like goes up to Sarah and like hide the ring. Hide the ring. <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. No, I'm, I'm like arguing with the like the detective like. No, no, no. You misspelled my name. It's uh, Gideon Tinsley Dumont. There you go. There I am. Yeah, look at me. I'm a rat bastard. Take me away. <laughs> <laughs> they like slowly handcuffed you. Okay. We were absolutely consorting with him. We, <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. They put everybody in the the cop car because that's a thing in this world. <laughs> they <laughs> you up and cram you in there, lock, close the door, and they like look at each other. Wow. 
That show is something, huh? Yeah, well, good thing we came in when we did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ricky's also, just like, who's no. driving the car? And then <laughs> in the car, Ricky shows up. Explodes. The tr- driving <laughs> uh, Ricky's like, I'm not going back to the <laughs> to the animal shelter. <laughs> Ricky, you know we were all going to get out of this anyways. <laughs> just pedal to the metal. Full, full on the gas. I was just gonna wait till a mile down the road and then cast command and tell him to stop. Yeah, same here. That's what we were gonna do. <laughs> he dropped me off at Senor Brain's house. <laughs> wait, do we have the baby with us? Yes. Yeah, so he just opens his jaw and there's. His no, no, okay, I'm I'm just making sure. I don't want to get like down the road and all of a sudden it's like, where's the baby again? And it's like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Wait, but, but before we before we go there, I I am quite famished, and we must go to the most evil place on the planet, Chick Fil A. I want to eat chicken. Eat <laughs> chicken. Wait, I can get us there fast. I'm gonna do the Wonder Wonder one more time. Oh, God. You can't say that Chick Fil A. <laughs> yeah, this is going towards Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, cast fireball at ninth level. <laughs> a cloud of 600 oversized butterflies <laughs> fills a 30 foot radius oh, centered on the target. The area <laughs> becomes heavily obscured. The butterflies remain. So basically, the Chick fil A is now filled with large size butterflies. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. How poetic. <laughs> the little league of miscreants <laughs> with the. Uh, <laughs> Evil crimes. We have to stop doing good things. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last. I'd like to use mage hand to grab the curtain and pull it closed over the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> yeah, I think with that last um, little bit, the car drives off in the night with our little league of miscreants. What happened to Bubba? Bubba. He's dead. The servant time. <laughs> Hard He's serving no, time. No. Oh, well, that's good. I'm proud of him, honestly. He got framed for a rat murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell him in, like, hippopotamus, like, it was a me, I swear. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a little tiny one with the jingly hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Save it for the slammer. <laughs> Closes <laughs> the jail cell. And with that, uh, we flash back to our actual League of Evil as they think fondly of that totally accurate and total <laughs> true portrayal of what happened when they <laughs> rescued Master Brain from the clutches of Happy Jack. Imagine like we're just in our like layer everybody minding their own bits it's like wherever Ricky is like I just kicked the door down I'm like Ricky! You owe me a pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years later, I remember. I remember <laughs> you messed those shoes up there. I love those shoes. He just blinks yeah. at you and then licks his eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Great be. And I just slammed the door. <laughs> and that's and why then, he never got him. <laughs> no, it, it's like the, you know, <laughs> the Looney Tunes ending where it shows like the piggy pig thing, but it's like Ricky. Piggy pig. And he just licks his eyeball at the end. <laughs> he's he's shaking, that's he's all, shaking, folks. Like... <laughs> he's just what? Shaking? <laughs> shaking uncontrollably, like. <laughs> that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we finally conclude our League of Evil! Yay! Yay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Such a great time. What a wonderful time. Lots of fun laughs. A good time. Thanks for everybody for playing, for watching, all that good stuff. And thanks for donating on top of that. You know, we had so many clutch donations come in today. We're so happy and so proud of this community. Cool. Hell yeah. We beat our goal of last year. That's all that Woo! counts. Yay. That's all that matters. <laughs> I just say one thing. Real yeah. fucked up that I have a crush on the thing I used to babysit. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. oh, God. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, a little God. sketchy, but you know. It's a, it, 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 what do you mean? Master Brain never was a baby. And was this just an imaginary tale we came up with? <laughs> remember my rippling pecs <laughs> <laughs> you can't see them oh, because no. I don't have muscles <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like this is like a Futurama episode where like everybody's trying to retell the tale but like this is not close to how 
the story. I remember, like, remember that one time we lost a baby brain? Everybody's like, what? What do you mean baby brain? Like, <laughs> really, we all just got really drunk and broke yes. into a freaking carnival. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the woods and ate like really bad mushrooms because we <laughs> failed survival checks and like we just tripped balls for a week. We came up like, oh, what the hell happened? Like fabricated this whole story to be like, oh, yeah, that's what that's what happened. We didn't like lose ourselves in the woods for like a week. We destroyed an innocent man's carnival. Like Happy Jack was a normal carny guy just minding his own business. Master Brain had to babysit us that whole time. (laughs) One guy burst in through the wall with a chance that was actually a guy like, hey guys, would you like some cotton candy? (laughs) Meanwhile, meanwhile, meme parade were like, get away from me, you some bitch. (laughs) I just chop him up and put him into a bag. No. I mean, you guys, he never hit you guys. Uh, like, you guys just punched no. the shit out of a rap ear to paralyze like the only The only damage we took the whole thing was from, like, our own <laughs> negligence. Yeah, like, pretty much. <laughs> Went through a little spinning tunnel. Yep. Can, I don't think yeah. I don't with chainsaw. Any... Spinning tunnel in the ball pit. <laughs> All think, chaotic evil. I don't think any anim- enemy actually hit us. Yeah. <laughs> just, just like oh let's walk through this tunnel because <laughs> we're the bad guys oh look a ball pit <laughs> highly uncoordinated yeah the most lethal thing to an adventuring party is water <laughs> you know no. like or something like that you know like environmental effects will kill you more often than a <laughs> I, love, I love that Perrette went to go punch the door and it's like you don't break the door and you take damage <laughs> oh, he flew backwards into exploding ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for watching, for donating, for playing. Uh, we'll be back at it again next. Oh, we're not going to be here next Friday. So sorry. Yeah. We'll see us next week. Sorry. <laughs> but you will see us next, the week after. So come and watch season mm-hmm. time. Also, got a Toby Tuesday and an X Ray Specs day. Mm-hmm. While we wait for Animal Crossing patiently. Yeah, I'm just gonna We're play Animal Crossing today. and pretend that I'm having a Halloween event that never existed. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, Seas of Time will be back on Friday, November 12th. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we will see our evil villains in a year. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe sooner. Maybe it's we'll like a is Valentine's there, Day episode. Is there <laughs> a, a website for everybody like if they want to go donate to Extra Life after the fact? Because I mean it's it's yeah. a really good organization. Yeah. Um if you it's uh bang on. I mean our charity link will be up till midnight, so fifty minutes, never mind. Uh okay. <laughs> Um, it's extra life, extra dash life.org is the link. Um, and, uh, you can donate through that website. They'll tell you all about the organization, the organization and like what they do and where the money goes to. Uh, they also have a fact section if you have like questions and, um, yeah. And you, they also like, you can make donations towards a hospital like in your local area too. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, so it's not just like an all-around thing. Although mm-hmm. we did it just because all of us are from different places. Right. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to go and support your local uh, hospitals, go go for it. Really cool stuff that they're doing for those kiddos. Yes. I can't click on the link for some reason. <laughs> Uh, oh no ignore that oh god oh god (laughs) what have you done what have you done potter (laughs) there's the link ignore that other one i don't know how to delete my message yeah it's cursed (laughs) just ignore the big one (laughs) <laughs> basically just helps children who are in hospitals requiring treatments and stuff. Yeah. So presumably the parents don't have to pay for it and stuff like that. Nope. Just helping out the really yep. um, vulnerable kids and stuff. Yeah, the amount of, amount of kids that I was watching the video earlier today, like the amount of kids that they help on a daily basis, it's 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 way higher than I thought it would be. And, mm-hmm. and they so, get some video games too. 
Because oh, I mean, man. like, if you got a kid in the hospital, what are you going to do with the kid? It's like, hey, video game. And they're like, yeah, fucking video games. Mm-hmm. We both heard they're going what? to the dentist. <laughs> it's playing the Xbox. Yeah, your dentist. That might that might be a little shit. <laughs> might be a little challenge. Be sitting there like getting dental work done, like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and a Was bunch of different streamers and YouTubers uh, do charities with Extra Life. Mm-hmm. And I think in November, they're supposed to, yeah, November 6th, there's supposed to be some kind of event with a bunch of people doing, oh, game day. So mm-hmm. uh, if you want to donate then, uh, November 6th, um, they'll be doing a bunch of different uh, streams and stuff to raise money. Mm-hmm. Oh. But yeah, we did it. Did it. Well, yeah. I mean, we beat we beat my goal, which was 110 <laughs> from last year. <laughs> so we're doing it! Yay! High fives all around. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I got. No, no, no. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Want to sign us Even. out, Michael? <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Whenever. It's been 12 wow. hours and I'm One tired. Week I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> and yet my dumb ass is going to stay up for probably a couple more hours because I'm stupid as <laughs> hell. I'm hungry, actually. Bye. Good- Bye Goodbye, everyone. everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. And happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween.